Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Just a little bit of housekeeping. We have the pool camera at the back of the room, so press conferences will be made available immediately on PGA Tour uh, Media Hub and also European Tour Media Hub as well group. So we'll get things started. Delighted to welcome back Ewan Ferguson to the Genesis Scottish Open. Ewan, it must be nice to be back in Scotland and have a week in front of home fans. Just how excited to have your National Open here. Yeah, it's so good. I love um, coming back to Scotland and, and playing. Um, it helps when you know the courses a little bit better as well and you don't need to kind of worry about the practice rounds and stuff like that as much. You can just kind of focus with your coach and um, you know what shots you need to hit in advance as well. So that's helpful. And then obviously I like playing in front of like my family and stuff and kind of gets me excited to try and um, impress them. So I look forward to that. Four top tens this season, that's including a tied fourth at Fred British Masters. So just where is the game at and how are the confidence levels heading into this week? Yeah, I played really well at the at the British Masters after the first four holes. I was full over through four. First four holes, that wasn't good. Um, and then started to play really well that, that week and actually had a putt on the last to go on the outright lead, which I just missed um, and I missed the putt on the way back, but I was happy that I gave it a go. And then um, I was excited to play last week in Himmerland because uh, I finished second there last year. Yeah. But I wear contact lenses every day. And um, sometimes my eyes get really sore and I get like migraines. Yeah. Um, and I get like blurry vision. It looks like something's like floating across my eye and it's really off-putting. So I had that um, kind of Wednesday and Thursday in the... In the pro am and I woke up on Thursday, the weather was terrible and that was going on and I was like <laughs> kinda of stressed, so I uh, pulled out, which was a shame. But yeah. Like you say though, here this week, hopefully the weather will be better for your eyes. We'll open up for Yeah, questions. No, my eyes are good now. I had I've, <laughs> I've had some sleep and I've worn my glasses, wore my specs for a few days, so I'm, I'm all Gucci. Perfect. We'll, we'll open up for questions as well from the floor. We'll go with Martin. Be mindful of cameras. <laughs> Thanks, Swanee. How often does that uh, flare up you and, and how much a concern was it at the time that it might affect this week? Um, it wasn't actually a concern for this week at all because I, I, get, it, I, find, I get it quite a lot, like five times a year. And um, I know that it's even more annoying because I know like when I go into a dark room and have a nap, and kind of wake up in a cold shower and all that, I start to feel fine again. So I knew I'd be fine, but it is just very frustrating when it happens. But like when I'm when I'm in um, like Dubai playing or like uh, South Africa when the weather's really good and uh, you don't need to worry about everything else, you can kind of get away with it a wee bit. But when it's really difficult weather, like windy and rainy, and that's going on, it's just so hard and it makes me like. Bit panicky, so um, that's why. But, uh, you got your first Scottish Open 2020, I think it was. You're still on the Challenge Tour at the time. Uh, you just talk a little bit about how the events changed since then. You know, the, the eight of the top ten in the world here again this week. Just you know, the, 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 the event's been elevated, and what does that mean to you as a player to, to play against these top players in the world? Yeah, well, even then, um, I was just walking about like, oh, there's that guy, there's that like all the players and. I'm still like that. Like I was buzzing when I seen Spieth and Justin Thomas yesterday on the on the putting green, and uh, Spieth just walking about. Like I'm such a like golf fan and stuff as well. So just love seeing all these guys, and then it makes me feel proud that I'm playing against them as well. So I'm excited to be there, and I've also got this weird nickname right now um, on social media. People call me the knockoff Ricky Fowler. I think it's a bit harsh, but um, hopefully I can play with a real Ricky Fowler this weekend. That'd be pretty cool. Hi Ewan, how are you doing? Um, some guys can get inspired with the, with the home crowds and the, the family and stuff like that and it can be pressurised and intimidating for other people. Why is it you think it brings the best out in you? Uh, I do feel nervous um, when, they're, when people are watching but I feel like I have like an intensity over all my shots which makes me play well. Like they were, they were all at British Masters as well and I think... Been four over through four on the Thursday. If that happened, and 
another tournament somewhere where no one else was there, I'd have probably just kind of been a bit upset and maybe missed the cut. But because they were there, I didn't want to let them down and I wanted to come back and I could do it and stuff and ended up did do that. So I think uh, just for like five foot putts and a splash out of the bunker, um, if you're in the bunker off the tee and you just need to splash out sideways, like every shot I feel like it's got like a real purpose. And I think that's why I do well. Um, yeah. Um, have you spoken to any of the other players about contact lens issues? Yeah, my best friend also really struggles with his eyes, uh, Connor Syme. So he's got like a problem with his eyes as well. He wears contact lenses and we both have this similar thing where it happens. It's really annoying and we can um, chat about our headaches together. <laughs> and were you warned about this when you had the contact lenses, you know, that they might trouble you in the summer? Yeah, it doesn't. It troubles me just at random times of the year. I think because when I'm, that's where I wear sunglasses all the time when I'm playing. So I think because the the wind and the weather and the day in the pro am in Denmark, the weather was so 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 bad, and I played. It was 18 holes, and I think I was really strenuous on my eyes, like because I couldn't wear my lenses because it was so rainy. So I was always like this, um, and I just got kind of messed up. I think and. That's kind of, that night I felt not good and I woke up the next day and could hardly see it in my right eye, so it wasn't worth giving it a go. So, um, but yeah, laser surgery, my pain threshold's not that good, so I'm a bit scared for that. So I think I could do that. Okay. I think it's brilliant. I'm, I think that's a great night now. Yeah. The next Ricky Feather would be nicer, but... <laughs> uh, knock off, take that and all, whatever. Benny. You and hi, good to see you again. Good to see you too. Yeah, how would you sort of describe these two weeks in your career? You know, <coughs> you've got the Scottish Premier event, your, your own Open, then you're playing the Open next week. How do you sort of contain your excitement? Um, I always feel quite excited to play anyway, but just, like, because I am, like, a fan of golf as well, like, watching, like, golf movies and everything like Scottish Opens and the Open at Hoylake and knowing like the history of the game a little bit. I think um, I feel proud to try and do well and I'm always kind of like thinking about like records and stuff like that as well. So I think to try and like, you know, do well this week and then try and like get myself up there in the Open would just be like proper cool because um, obviously it's the Open but also just elevates your your own like status I think yeah. like if you look at like Bob for example who's done well in like majors um I just feel like he's got like a really elevated status just because he's been so good in like really big competitions so I think that's what inspires me to do well in them. How big will the um Ferguson fan base be next week? Next week? Yeah good we've got a, they've got a house on the on the range so I'm not staying there no way I'm not I'm <laughs> definitely not staying there. I'm staying in um, the in a hotel just so I can keep the normal life on tour up, and then they're all staying in a um, house there, so they can all have fun and do their thing, and I might meet them one night for dinner or something like that. But I think it's a good week as well for for us because see, even like sometimes with the weather being bad, I know they always say like, "Oh, you'll be used to it and stuff," but like we probably will be a bit more used to it than like I don't know, like guys brought up in Arizona or something, you know, so um, I think it's like a really good opportunity to go out and just like battle really hard and, you know, like playing like Lytham Trophy and Lynx Trophy and all that stuff kind of stands in good stead for that. Any further questions for Martin and then? So obviously you're, you're delighted for yourself first and foremost about next week making your major debut, but to do that alongside Mikey Stewart, Graham Robertson, and seven Scots here now. I mean, how how sort of pleased is that for you, know, for you about Scottish golf in general and those got lads in particular? Yeah, that's really cool with Mikey and Graham. Like obviously playing with them, Scotland being quite a small country, you you know it's a small circle, so you know everyone really well. And um, it was cool to see them kind of show how good they are because we all know like they are really good players. And now they can show that um, next week. And yeah. Just playing, but you know, again, it's such an individual game that I'm just going to be there, obviously. Try to do good for myself, but I was happy to see them get there and um, maybe play a practice round. But I'm supposed to be playing a practice round with Ricky, so see what happens. 
Don? Uh, when you think back to the boys am at Hoy Lake, what's the enduring memory that comes to mind? The boys amateur. Oh yeah. Well, the I went there a couple of weeks ago with Connor for a practice round, and they've got that champions board up. Have you seen it? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, it's quite cool. It's got like Tiger, you and me, Rory. then Rory, stuff like that. So that was nice. Nice to be a part of that. Um, and then. To be honest, though, like when I played it the other week there, I just couldn't really remember much. It was it was so different. It was playing so different, but um, I just like the kind of vibe around the place, like the clubhouse. It's that like magical feeling. So um, I know I like that. So mentally, I should be in pretty good place. And obviously, I've done well there before. So I like the greens. You know, that kind of linksy green. I always kind of put well on linksy greens. So should be good. Michael. Hi, Ewan. Hi, mate. So, with a view to next week, do you anticipate making any bag changes, like any gear changes, for example? Mm -hmm. And as a follow-up to that, does growing up playing a lot of Lynx golf, do you think that gives you guys a bit of a, an advantage, a head start, if you like, over the rest of the field who maybe don't have that experience? Um, on the bag changes, I either go with seven wood or, like, five wood or, like, a long iron. So, it's meant to be quite windy, I think, so I'll probably put a long iron in for off the tee and get it rolling a bit, but I don't really like changing my, my bag set up because I always feel like if it doesn't work one shot when I'm out there, I'll be raging. So um, I probably wouldn't really change my bag set up, maybe just a long iron. And then I think playing in these, this does a little bit of an advantage, I think, just because like I've played here loads and I've played Lynx golf loads and just know like wee shots that are just really not normal. Wee back foot, narrow stands, little chippy irons from 100 yards, like really uncommon. Um, you probably wouldn't do a lot in the States. And you don't have to really rehearse those, do you? Yeah, exactly. You don't need to, you, it's not really shots you practice, but you just kind of brought up with them and you just kind of know how to do it a wee bit. Um, obviously, all the other guys are just amazing golfers, though, so I'm sure they, they can just do it with a sandwich. But, uh, you know, I'll just be out, like, try to... Kind of go back to my roots at times when all the weather's not going to be looking too good, but at the same time, I'm not that disappointed that the weather's not that good because, um, you know, equal the playing field a little bit. You know, I don't fancy hitting against Rory. <laughs> Any further questions for you, Ian? I think we might be done for the day. All the best for this week. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for your time. Thanks a lot. Thanks. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.